Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. <clears throat> if you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe. Also, put a like on the video if you enjoy my readings. And uh, if you want to become a member, you can join the Virgo Gang Tribe. $2.99 a month to become a member here on my channel. And for those of you who have recently joined, welcome Christy Pope, Kimmy, uh, Crystal. Thank you for joining Rocky Mills. Did I say Rocky? Hello, shout out to you guys. Okay, um, yes, let's get into this reading and see what messages, what does Virgo need to know for the rest of month in regards to a current relationship. Okay, you've got soulmates. You've got I like you. Let me try and get this brighter for you. And you have karmic relationship okay wow all right soul connection partnership agreement soul contract somebody's interested in you romance is blooming fun flirting someone wants to date you karmic relationship fleeting triggers turmoil resentment lessons letting go and loving yourself so <clears throat> hmm. okay so karmic relationship really just feels like um there's a relate you have a soulmate connection with someone perhaps or you will in march where um this person's very interested in you or will be i should try to speak in the future here but there's something about the relationship that causes a lot of or will cause a lot of triggers um and a lot of lessons to be learned this is the kind of relationship where it's heavy duty or it will be heavy duty okay there's there's something that will occur with this person or someone where you're gonna have to do a lot of reflecting about your own anxieties and insecurities as well and it happens to them as well so there there is a connection forming here or has formed for some of you um, a soul contract for sure two people who are were destined to come together um, and there is a potential for romance to bloom and date. However, it's, it doesn't feel like it's going to be all that easy. Okay. And you know something, Virgo, I mean, I think a lot of times people are just looking for the perfect relationship where we don't have to look at ourselves. Usually when we have connections with people, you know, people reflect back to us our, our um, not only our flaws, but our positive uh, energy as well so hmm that's interesting okay let's take a look and see what the message overall messages are here for Al, for, for virgo for what else you need to know <laughs> okay so you've got the death card all right there's definitely this relationship is going to give some kind of change bring change and transformation okay scorpio energy there wow and the lovers gemini so wow virgo there's an old saying be careful what you wish for you just might get it um it looks like if there's a situation or a relationship with someone or or just a desire to be in a relationship i feel like you shouldn't go in with rose colored glasses on i mean it's okay to to be happy and excited about meeting someone and connecting with them but keep in mind that you know the lovers is about being vulnerable right the lovers is about opening ourselves up and connecting with another person and showing ourselves fully all of our you know all of our flaws as well as you know all of our attributes and it's accepting each other and forming a deeper bond like a deeper bond cannot be had unless there is this vulnerability that it has to take place like in all forms you know um but there's a great love here with someone definitely there's a great love of two people who are making a decision to be together and to come together and nine of cups this is something like remember i said be careful what you wish for you just might get it you're getting whatever it is virgo that you've been wishing and hoping for in march and going forward you're getting it this year for sure okay and it's going to be life-changing 
Definitely, um, but it's also about a decision. So you uh, either you've made a decision or you're making a decision in March about taking yourself into um, a position of being open and honest and vulnerable with someone. And I feel like there's two people here who want this, both people, both parties want to reach that level together, desire to reach that level together. Give me a clarifying card for the death card. Because death is like, whew, this is a cycle of rebirth. So for some of you, it's a rebirth of a relationship. For others, it is um, connecting with a soulmate and being willing and open to, to be open, really. Wow. Okay. For some of you, this is... <laughs> For some of you, this could involve marriage. This is an 11-11 kind of connection here. This is celebration. For some, it's a reunion. For some, a reunion with a Scorpio. For others, this could be about building the foundation and having a new start here, building a foundation of a relationship. Clarifying the lovers who got the world. So this is like a brand new chapter that's coming about here. Looking back on the past, letting it go, and making a decision to come together and either begin dating or just to start all over. It could have something to do with travel for some of you. If you are in a long distance connection with someone or if someone you're not, you could be completely single and somebody comes from far away. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I just want to get another clarifying card for the world and the world so I'm picking up Aquarius, Leo, and Taurus as well. Yes, decision-making plans. Plans are happening in March. This is pretty much like kind of being in a crossroad. Either you or another person and like you got the world in your hands and it could have something to do with travel as well, but it's really about it could have something to do with um, starting somewhere together, somewhere in the world, or combining worlds. I feel that pretty heavily, okay? Let's get into the Nine of Cups. So, again, you know, John Travolta keeps showing up in my readings here with this Nine of Cups. So this is, this is like your wish card, make a wish, pure contentment. If you haven't made that yet, make that wish. But I feel like some of you have, you're ready. Some of you are ready. This is being ready to start on this new journey together. You're standing at the crossroads. Another person is at the crossroads. Two people meet in the middle, try to figure out how to have a new beginning together. Okay, yeah, Virgo. Look at you here with the hermit, or you have a, a Virgo connection with someone. This is really like reflecting. Am I ready for this? Because I know things are going to be a little tough going forward. I'm going to have to face myself as well. I'm going to have to face my own turmoils in a relationship. You know, relationships, <laughs> that's how they are. I mean, you could stay on your own. Some of you Virgos are just like, keep me in hermit mode, then I don't have to look at myself and I don't have to have anyone reflect back to me. I could just look at the light myself. Some of you Virgos are very sensitive and you like to stay on your own. Um, Virgos are their biggest, their own biggest critics, you know. Um, and I think it's okay to like kind of analyze and self-reflect on your own um, shortcomings, but I think it's also important that you balance that out with your long comings with your stuff about you that's really great okay because i do feel like if you're in this relationship or you make a decision or you choose with someone else to go forward in this relationship you're gonna have to also practice a lot of letting go and loving yourself which means um you know you in a relationship with another person you're still autonomous you're still you it's not about you uh, staying in, or being codependent or focusing only on the other person it's about you having your own boundaries and they having theirs and this might be something like do i really want this you might be asking yourself am i re really ready for this because it's coming virgo 
And I know some of you like you've been saying that forever. Well, it's it's not for all of you, okay? It's not for everybody. If you've been listening for six months or two years and it hasn't happened, it, there might be something on your end you need to look at, okay? Because I know some of you are like, yeah, no, this is definitely the situation. Okay. Yeah, a lot of effort and a lot of hard work. So I do feel like there is another person like you. I, it's interesting because when I, when I was shuffling these white cards at first, um, when I was shuffling at first, I saw the card that popped out and I just looked at it really quick and I didn't pull it, but the golden mirror showed up. And, you know, that's a little bit about, like I was saying, and you had mirror yesterday, that's a little bit about like, relationships will have to will cause you to look in the mirror as well so it's the same for this person okay but i do feel like there is a desire on both ends to come together but it's kind of i, I it's not like i'm not seeing anything here with quick movement so i feel like it's going to be slow like a slow process and if you're someone who is sensitive to turmoil and um, triggers and things like that, it might be best for you to go slow. You know, the older you get, <laughs> right? You, you've, you've got your scars. And, you know, it's different when you're young and you're just like, you throw, you throw your cares to the wind and just jump in when you're young, right? Because that's just what you do. But now it's like, wait a minute, baby steps here is what I'm hearing. So putting the effort into people, I do see that can occur. Oh, there may even be an apology from someone if you have a relationship with someone that you you both truly care about each other but a lot of things have happened in the past um there may be this forgiveness energy that you know i do see that showing up here um but this is also an energy of new love so for some of you with the page of cups this is a new start for you very slow very mild kind of thing um i just feel like the overall message here is to take your time with this one take your time don't rush don't rush this one okay divine timing there you go so i feel like this connection sagittarius energy here i feel like this connection with whomever this person is showing up or is currently in your life this was meant to be for some reason right there, there's there's some lessons in here remember that um there's some lessons so there if if you are you know if you if this is a past history kind of thing you may have been learning those lessons now some of you may um choose not to reconcile with someone um and you have the free will to do so of course uh, for others, this is an energy of, like I said, somebody new coming in, and this was like the person you were meant to connect with, that soulmate energy. Look, there you go. There's a lot of healing with this, with the Caduceus here. It could be a Leo, but there is this seeing eye to eye here. Two people who are like on the same page, mutual understanding and agreement um, and again, a little bit of mirroring energy here. Two halves of a whole coming together and can also be new love for some of you. Friends to lovers. Um, I'm looking at that too. And that's definitely a coupling. You have two twos here. Um, February 22nd might have been significant for some of you, but I'm also feeling a, a Gemini too. So I feel like one of you is really cool, calm, and collected, and the other one is kind of either like has a mood shift. So um, when I'm looking at the colors, um, one of you may be pretty much optimistic and bright, but you have your dark moments, <laughs> where the other one is just overall cool, calm, and collected, but also um, has fiery feet, so to speak, you know, gets moving, gets moving. Okay, that's an interesting, now they're also telling me uh, this might have, there might be a connection to some type of healing modality as well. So what I mean by that is like it, for physical places, it, it, this could be a connection in a, like a 
medical institution, like a hospital or a doctor's office for some or anything along those lines, you know, healing and therapy or, you know, it's mostly medicine, I feel. Um, let me see what else is going on here. Wow. Oh my goodness. You have the Ace of Cups. I mean, there really is great potential here. This is so this there's I'm, I'm feeling more so this is a new love or a recommitment to love developing here. Um, I feel like though it could feel like it's karmic. I don't want you to be afraid of that. I feel like it could feel like it's karmic. Um, there could be someone, uh, one or two people remind each other of past people um, or past situation. Um, there may be a time to let go of a karmic relationship that was just more negative than positive. Or a relationship here where it's like, if you know this person and you're going to start over, it's time to forgive, ex forgive, accept, and let go of the past if there was any kind of deception or cheating. Now listen, I am not saying, of course, that if you, like I'm not pro-abuse, so if, if you have been in relationships in the past where people were just constantly lying and constantly, um, yeah, just lying generally and had a lack of integrity. Forgiving is really for you, I feel, but that does not mean that you can, should accept someone back. And I'm not telling you to do that. I'm pretty much saying you got to weigh this out on your own, okay? If you've had someone that was like a habitual liar, or running away all the time, then that's something that you you need to take a serious look at if this is a recommitment to something. Um, and you need to see if someone has changed, of course, like seriously made some hardcore changes. Um, you may be also carrying some, like I said, scars or things from the past that could trigger. This person might do something that triggers and you have to kind of take a look at that from a very objective point of view, you know. Um, yeah, it, I have to be careful lately because I feel like, and I said this in my last reading, Virgo, like if you are, are you're going to reconnect with someone that, you know, you, you love, but they have a problem with habitual um, lying or sneaking around and things like that then if you're going to reconnect with them, it's really important that you use your, your head when reconnecting with them, not your heart. Um, yeah. That's like the biggest message. You don't want to go in with your emotional thinking with someone who you can't trust. You know what I mean? Um, because the, if they're continuously being in this seven of swords energy, they'll just keep doing that. And you're going to, you know, you're going to get hurt. Um, I don't necessarily feel like that's the case here. I do feel like there may be some things that come up in this relationship that are going to cause you to pause. Um, and it's either because this person is going to present in a way that might make you feel that way um, until you have evidence of that or it might just trigger some past stuff with you right it's hard it's hard to heal a relationship with someone you truly love that has you know has gone on to maybe they have addictions or, or acting out of integrity acting without integrity and not being honest and above board and truthful i'm not really feeling like that but i do feel like you're going to be called to weigh your options here, to weigh things out, so to try to balance so you don't get caught up in an emotional roller coaster with someone or with anybody in your future, right? So, hmm, I see it being very positive though because even with the Ace of Cups, I do feel like there is an opportunity here for healing and the Two of Cups, yes, but you know, I feel like for some of you Virgos, it's like, okay, what's the price of that? You know, what's the, what's the cost? What's, what am I going to have to pay for the healing? <laughs> some people don't want to pay the heavy price. Some people are willing to do that. It's all about, you know, what's your fortitude like Virgo? Okay. So you've got the magician here. Gemini energy is showing up again. So there is this 
laying it out all out on the table from someone here is going to just put it all their cards out on the table with the magician try to manifest something here uh, a new beginning now let me see okay. oh yeah for some of you it is a reunion try to come together with you now for some of this could be a friendship as well okay just keep that in mind this could be like, do you want to reconnect with friends, with, with a friend or friends, or a sibling or siblings? Okay, don't forget, you guys, follow me on Instagram, House O Virgo. The link is in my link tree. Okay, let's see. Hmm. All right, it's a struggle here, mental struggle, definitely with um, maybe some siblings or some friends or uh, a lover yeah there's some restrictions there will be some restrictions showing up here in order to um bring this reunion about i do feel that but the the, the motivation the desire and the willingness is definitely there to come together so let me see here what else does virgo need to know hmm so coming together might have something to do with financial aspects as well and judgment uh, mars ruled so um that i think that's typically a scorpio card so there might be something to do there's a little bit of hesitation and delay as i said something to do with opening up hmm or finding an opening to reunite okay but there is this, you know, taking a look at, you know, how, how is this going to happen? This romance, this blooming, this dating. Okay. Hmm. Somebody's definitely on fire for you, Virgo. The passion is there. The lust is there. The desire is definitely there. And as soon as an opportunity arises, and it may be, um, now, this energy is playing out in March. It's beginning. Okay. I know that we have... This new moon coming up on March 10th, and I said before that it could be beginning now. There may be like a, an, uh, they're telling me an opening up sometime between, oh, that's a long time. So Virgo, I'm not sure if you want to wait that long for someone to like, you know, come towards you. Um, but I'm just going to say it for some of you, it's there's sometime between um, like August into, um, oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. No, November, December is what they're saying. That's a really long time. So, you know, keep doing you, Virgo. <laughs> okay, you've got the three of pentacles. So I, I kind of feel like, you know, they're telling me, you know, real love is worth the wait. True love is worth the wait, right? Some of you I know are like, I'm not waiting that long. Some of you are like, no, I love this person. I'll wait, whatever it needs, to, however it needs to happen, that's fine. Um, you know, we'll make this happen. Uh, so I can't really tell which Virgo out here is going to be willing to wait that long. But, you know, if you're willing to wait, put it in the comments. If you're not, give it a, th I don't know, don't say. Say if you want, I, it's fine. <laughs> okay, there's definitely an opportunity for growth here. A positive new beginning to do the right thing and to make something right so i feel um like something is going to move forward it's but it's all in with the temperance card it's it's not like it's not in your time virgo right and i do feel like that march is showing us and so we have libra and leo march is definitely showing a time for new beginnings definitely okay don't get me don't don't ex I, I feel like to say don't expect March for it to happen it could actually start happening but there's something for some of you about some kind of like needing to hold back some type of restriction let me see what your messages of love okay all right so somebody is going to get an apology if you've been waiting to hear for an apology or expecting one it's coming and yeah, there's financial challenges affecting a particular connection. So if you, um, there's money involved. It's something to do with, with money, okay? For some of you, there's a past life love connection here that you, you the timing's not right. Okay, so 
let me put it this way if this is a past type of connection with someone you're gonna have to wait a little longer and, and that's that's what's being presented what you choose to do with that is is on you um, if this is somebody new coming in yeah there is a financial restriction between the two of you um, for being able to come together I don't know exactly what that might mean somebody might need to relocate for work or they're 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 hitting hard times they really want to be with you and some of you if you do meet somebody new and there's an opportunity to come together this person not able to do it because of money or you not being able to do it because of money it could trigger some I don't know some stuff like unless you have clarity about something with someone here um, if they don't tell you it's because they don't have the money or they're broke and they can't make this happen you might think that they're not interested uh, and that might trigger something within you so not many people want to admit that they're broke you know when it comes to dating some people meet someone and it's like oh my gosh I just met the perfect person however I'm living in a tent on the side of the road. I don't want them to come see where I live, <laughs> you know? And so there's a there's a little bit of pride and you know, love with the lovers and all, pride needs to go away. That can't, and so that could be a restriction. Pride, there's no room for pride in a vulnerable, loving, long, you know, deep partnership with someone. Pride is the thing that'll destroy it. And some of you need to be having that awakening about that, okay? Mm, spiritual lesson there's a spiritual lesson here remember i said karmic relationship teaches some lessons okay someone may not be available at this time and you might already know this and you need to trust your intuition sure someone might like you and sure there is an opportunity here like i said for a soulmate connection um but there might be something showing up here where they may not be available just yet that's why they were pushing it out a little bit of, a little bit further for you Virgo oh gosh tough you know it's interesting because it didn't have any court cards so you know I was throwing out some energies as far as like the zodiac but they're energies so if this reading resonates then it would be about whomever you have on your mind and in your heart at this time but I did, they weren't being specific with the court cards. Let's see if we can do it with the Chinese Zodiac. You and this person. Okay. So beginning with the rat. Snake. Goat. Dragon. Rat again. There's a tiger. An ox, double ox, a rooster, and oh, double rooster, and uh, goat again, double goat, and did I say rabbit because it's here again? Uh, I can't remember if I said rabbit, so let me get one more, a snake again, <laughs> and okay, a horse, there you go, all right, so I feel like the overall message here, Virgo, for this connection is to just go slow, baby steps, take your time with someone. Don't rush into anything. If something feels off, slow it down even more. Patience. That's why temperance is there. Temperance is screaming. Patience, moderation, in divine timing, uh, some, uh, a, a situation a relationship will come to fruition in the way you hope for it to come there's patience everything will unfold in divine timing what's and so i always like to say you know virgo what's meant for you will never pass you by okay and if something is coming your way but it's not moving forward that doesn't necessarily mean just because something comes your way that it's meant for you. What's meant for you, you'll just know and you'll feel it from your head to your toes. Okay? You'll just feel it from your head to your toes. Let's get a couple of Chinese cards here and see if there's anything else Virgo needs to know. 
Okay, your love life is showing up here, Virgo. Affairs of the heart could cause future problems, but take heart as difficult situations will be resolved by a good decision, especially this week and with this reading. Okay, Virgo. Make good decisions. Trust your intuition. Look at that. Trust your intuition. It's a great time to learn a new skill, change careers, or invest money. Okay. And in other areas of your life, Virgo. And you also have communication. A reunion could bring love or a rekindling of friendships and or love. And a lucky win seems likely, so that's good. Play the lottery. <laughs> Let's see. And you've got wisdom. To focus on the past is to lose the future. Heed advice from an older person, which will allow you to move on or forward. You also have care is required. Guard yourself against deception and be careful of making foolish mistakes at this time, Virgo. Okay. Trust your gut. Trust your intuition, Virgo, when it comes to this relationship. Because, you know, I can't tell for sure. Someone... There is going to be some car there is going to be some triggers in a relationship here. I do believe that if you have unhealed wounds, anything can trigger, okay? So you have to work, kind of work through those. But if you're if there's a relationship here that begins for you or starts beginning in March and doesn't really take off till the end of the year, um and the, there's too much triggering way too much way it's either you got to heal those wounds or you're with someone who's just constantly pouring salt in open wounds so you're gonna have to sort that out here for yourself okay someone is 54 um august 24th we have 65 we have 48 um jay-z jay-z who's jay-z J and Z, September 2nd, X and a V. Oh, someone's a vixen. Yo. We have September 16th, the letter R, uh, 1981, 1990, letter O. Somebody's born October 29th and also August 29th, 74. August 31st, the letter E, the letter B, um, Reba, letter I, okay, the letter Y, someone is 37, hmm, okay, the letter A and the letter K, someone's in Arkansas, 1970, okay, Baton Rouge, I just heard, someone's in Baton Rouge, someone's in Indiana, and what else, someone's birthday is in April, uh, we have either someone's 57 or born in 57, someone is 42, um, we have the letter D, hmm, and someone's born in November, possibly November 12th. Could be a connection. All right, let's take a look and see who this connection is with, with sign. Since we didn't really get too much of that in the court card. So for some, this could be a Scorpio, Sagittarius, Leo. We have double Sag. Capricorn, Libra, Pisces, a Sag again. I can say this, Virgo, if you have unhealed wounds and you're in a relationship with someone and something triggers you, the person you're with should be trying to soothe those wounds and not pour salt on them, okay? So keep that in mind because everybody has some triggers, everyone. Reassurance um, helps build trust with other people. You know, um, and it doesn't mean that you have to only rely. It's important, I feel like, that you trust spirit or God or whomever to help heal those wounds. That's the old, you know, like they say, Jesus, the ultimate healer, right? So it's important that you get your healing there. But 
as an added benefit, the person that you're with is not going to do anything to put themselves in a position to lose you. And they're not going to do anything to put themselves in a position, even if that means like hurting you. Some people don't even know they're hurting. It's important to have that communication if you feel like you're triggered by something. If someone, and, and the person you're talking to who truly cares will be willing to listen and not dismiss you. All right, double Gemini, Aquarius, Sagittarius keeps showing up. So there might, there must be, oh, here's Cancer. There must be a connection to a Sag. I feel that. Like a strong for some of you. Strong connection. Okay, you've got an elephant and you have bananas. Okay, so definitely a connection. Oh, something about a trunk. <laughs> <laughs> Did you are you missing something? It might be in the trunk of your car. I don't know. Just feeling this like the shape here. Something about a trunk. Okay, somebody might be born in the year of the monkey as well. Um elephants represent wisdom, Virgo, so be wise, right? Um use your wisdom. You've got the experience, you've got the wisdom now. Be smart about um you know decisions that you make in your life going forward um but this banana thing i don't know are you eating a banana or do you like bananas or some something there's an attachment to bananas maybe it's that old saying remember it's bananas <laughs> or this reading is freaking bananas okay let's see what else do you have Okay, there's that darn owl again. <laughs> All right, there's definitely a connection to an owl. This looks like an owl that's, um, I, they just gave me a pine cone. Something about owls and pine cones. Here's the tree of life. Very important um, message for someone in regards to a tree of life. If you have any uh, connection with the tree of life or the Kabbalah, there might be a connection with that. You also have a beautiful, well, this is a green rose. Look at that. It's not red. It's, oh, wait, no, is it green? No, I'm sorry. It's blue. There's a blue rose. I don't, yeah, that's very specific. Something, to, some connection with a blue rose. So, yeah, uh, Virgo, here's a fish. There's Pisces showing up here as well. And you might have Pisces in your chart, or this might also be a connection with a Pisces. I just kind of feel, um, Virgo. Okay, so they're saying connect with that Piscean, dreamy, intuitive energy that you have. I don't know why. There's something there about your, your intuition, your feeling. Uh, try to understand your feeling about something. Yeah. Uh, feelings are... Feelings are tough. I know for Virgos, it's like, feel? What are you talking about? <laughs> I sometimes think Virgos' feelings are so deep that it's hard to access them. So Virgo tries to just stay very like mental at times with things or physical. But there's something here about accessing the depth of your emotions, not to r let them run you, but to just kind of do a check-in. That, that, that hit those hidden emotions or something here about that. Maybe you've been doing some shadow work or you've been looking at that or working on your emotions or trying to identify and label them. Keep doing that. That's really um, healthy for you, Virgo. Okay. I feel like I'm going to leave that. That felt like a much more spiritual kind of a message, you know? So yeah, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. Definitely reach out to me. You can do a text reading or a phone call. Um, if you want to become a member of my channel, definitely join. I'll give you shout outs. You get cute little emojis and uh, a nice, awesome, colorful badge. And yeah, I'm going to leave that there. Don't forget to follow me on my socials. Go to my link tree. The link is in the description box below. And I will see you all back here tomorrow. All right, take care. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.